Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead and beyond. And you can see our streak of gorgeous weather has continued on this Thursday across the Argyle, Texas. We have a pretty much a sunny sky everywhere, as you can see as we begin with a look at the cameras along the Arkle Tex Weather Cam Network. And uh, looking at the weather pattern, what we're gonna be watching are a couple of disturbances which will be uh, moving into the uh, western sections of the country. This ridge is responsible for the warmth that we have uh, received here and experienced over the last couple of days. This disturbance off the coast of California is going to move well to the north of the Arkle Tex and probably will not uh, uh, play too much of a role in our weather. Another disturbance behind it will eventually uh, move south. And this is going to take a course that's going to be further to the south. And as a result, uh, we will see a chance for some thunderstorms because of that particular disturbance. Uh, more on that in a second. Let's give you a look at uh, futurecast here as we go through the next couple of days. And uh, tonight, once again, looking mostly clear across the Arklatex as we will see a south wind result in temperatures that will not be as chilly as we've seen over the last couple of nights. Tomorrow, expect a mix of sunshine and clouds. A little bit more of a south wind should warm us back up into the upper 70s. Notice the clouds starting to increase over the western half of the area late tomorrow. Going through tomorrow night, we'll see those clouds increase pretty much area wide. Not a whole lot as far as rain to worry about for tomorrow night. And then going through Saturday, we'll see that chance for the scattered shower. Nothing really with much intensity. If you get some rain, it's going to be light and it really shouldn't last too long the way it looks right now. And then moving Futurecast uh, through Saturday night, that chance for the light rain will continue. Now, moving forward here, we'll be watching a cold front that's going to be moving uh, southward towards the Arklatex and will move into the area late Sunday night. During the nighttime hour Saturday night, we'll again continue to see that chance for the scattered shower and that chance of rain will continue Sunday. You probably noticed the bigger red arrows here. That's Futurecast telling you it's going to be a windy day Sunday with a south wind at 15 to 20 miles per hour. That's going to warm us up into the low to middle 80s for daytime highs. And then as we go through Sunday night, you can see the line of thunderstorms associated with the cold front. Notice the wind shift south to southwesterly winds ahead of the front. Behind the front, we're looking at the winds out of the north and northwest. That convergence leading to those thunderstorms. Severe weather will be a possibility as the Storm Prediction Center basically indicates southwest Arkansas, northeast Texas, the part of the Oracle Tex that will have the uh, chance for severe weather. And everything could be on the table. Main concern is going to be damaging wind, but we can't totally rule out an isolated tornado as well with this line coming through. And we will see it uh, weaken a bit as it moves southward into east Texas and northwest Louisiana. Uh, during the morning hours Monday. Now, longer range, look at the overall pattern here, and you'll see how these two disturbances I uh, pointed out to you play out here. Ridge continues to move to the east, but it's going to block us from this first disturbance, sending it further to the north. And then the second disturbance, you can see right in here, is going to take a course further to the south. There's the line of thunderstorms late Sunday night into Monday morning. That will quickly push through. We'll take a break Tuesday. Another disturbance could bring some rain for our area as we look ahead to Wednesday. That'll push its way on to the east. And then we should be pretty much dry and relatively close to normal. A little bit of a warm up next Thursday. But that won't last very long as we'll see some mild air return uh, heading into next weekend. Rainfall potential models kind of zeroing in now on around a half an inch. You can see the totals. These columns that uh, display on this graphic, not nearly as tall as they were a couple days ago. And you can see right around a half an inch, a reasonable expectation. A few areas could see upwards of an inch. Uh, but most of us should be right around a half an inch the way it looks right now. So your forecast looks like this for tonight. We will see a mostly clear sky. Temperatures will be chilly and a few degrees above normal as we'll see lows mainly in the mid to upper 40s. 48 in Mansfield, 47 degrees in Shreveport, right around 47 degrees in Texarkana. Tomorrow, looking at another gorgeous day with a few more clouds in the mix, especially over Texas. Uh, East Texas, that is, uh, going into tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. Highs for the most part in the mid to upper 70s. 78 in Shreveport, 76 in Marshall, 75 degrees for the high temperature tomorrow in Texas, Canada. These more than 10 degrees above normal. We'll stay in that ballpark despite the clouds and a slight chance of rain Saturday. Much of Sunday looking dry as the rain looking rather light. And then Sunday night, Monday morning, possibility and actually uh, the likelihood of some thunderstorms that could be strong to severe. 
Uh, that'll end. We take a break from the rain Tuesday, more rain possible Wednesday. And you can see we will cool down behind this front. Now, the 69 you see for Monday will be in the morning, uh, probably early in the morning, and then we'll fall throughout the day, probably into the 40s and 50s across the area. We'll stay in the 50s for highs Tuesday, Wednesday, briefly warm up Thursday, and then kind of settle into the 60s for the end of next week. And as of right now, next weekend not looking too bad, as we'll see highs in the mid to upper 60s with quite a bit of sunshine. So again, the nice weather continues through Friday. And then as we close the weekend, another round of strong to severe thunderstorms will be possible across the Oracle Tex with the threat beginning over the northern sections of the area late Sunday night.